Hello, this is Billy Core from the Carolina Circle Mall Wiki. Today is um, Saturday, May 17th of 2014, and um, once again, we're looking at my Packard Bell Legend 822 CDT. Now, I want to talk briefly about what it was like to go from Windows 3.1X to Windows 95, as you see here. For a lot of people um, in 1995, it was it was a big learning experience. Um, you know, everyone was used to the program manager, and now you had this thing called the start menu. <laughs> I mean, what the heck is this? <laughs> As a lot of people were saying back then, I suppose. Um, and a lot of people are going through the same thing again these days with going from Windows 7 to Windows 8 because you got the start screen now instead of the start menu, which unfortunately, unlike on Windows 95 as we're about to see in a moment, Microsoft really hasn't provided any, any um, hand-holding methods to move people to this new interface. But um, in Windows 95, um, you know, we pretty much everyone knows um, by now that you can just go into that Microsoft included a Windows 95 edition of the program manager. Kind of a cut down version, but very functional at the same time, as you see here. And it has a bunch of program groups, including a bunch of the Packard Bell stuff. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, he got the program manager. Um, a little bit different from Windows 3.1, but it is the program manager. Now, um, a few weeks ago, I was um, on Skype with my friend Jay, um, aka Video Sound Frontiers, here on YouTube, and um, and I mentioned to him, you know, what would it be like if you had the power and the kernel of Windows 95 with the shell and interface of Windows 3.1X. I was bored and uh, my mind wanders when I get bored. And he told me a tr about this simple little trick you can do to Windows 95 to make that possible. First what we're going to do is we're going to exit into MS-DOS mode. And we are going to go into edit. We're going to edit the system.ini file. Now, I've done this before on um, virtual PC, but never on an actual computer. And the Packard Bell 822 is going to be my uh, test subject for this um, real life demonstration. So we'll um, edit system.ini. You can see all this weird Cody stuff. <laughs> Okay, um, what we want to look for is the shell um, line on here, and here it is right here. See where it says shell equals explorer.exe? Well, we're going to change that. We're going to delete this, and we're going to replace this with progman.exe, and we're going to save our changes. Exit, reboot. Hold on here, um, I will just do a cold reboot. Oh, well, it's <laughs> doing it now. And Windows 95 is going to boot up just as it would, um, as you would expect. Now watch this. This is where it gets interesting. Notice something interesting here? That's right. Um, we, ha we no longer have um, explorer.exe as the um, as the shell of Windows 95. Instead, it's Program Manager just like it was on Windows 3.1X. And 
We still got the kernel of Windows 95, but the shell is completely different as you see. Like, um, here we'll minimize this, and it get, I just noticed it gives you a little window of your desktop icons that we had before. So, yeah, we got my computer still, um, that kind of stuff, so yeah. And, and replacing the taskbar, um, we just got this little, um, row of, um, programs minimized here. We'll bring, and also, um, Double click the desktop, you get a task manager just like that looks very similar to that of Windows 3.1 X. However, if you do a control alt delete, you get the Windows 95 style um, task manager. So we'll bring back up the uh, program manager and like we, we can launch a program. Well, we'll just open up Packer Build Navigator. Welcome from Packard Bell. We and all this yada 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 stuff with the navigator. We'll get back out of here and we're back in the program manager. Let's re-maximize it. And um, yeah, this is and notice it says exit windows here and pretty we pretty much just done as I said we turned Windows 95 into Windows 3.1 <laughs> in a way so like if we so let's let's um put everything back to normal as it should be so we'll hit first of all we'll hit this little X up here like we would just close a program and we'll get this little box that says this will end your Windows session just as we s saw before on um, Windows 3.1 so we'll click OK and we're going to be rebooting, but actually it's, we're going to be shutting down, but I just want to do a reboot, so we'll just control alt delete this, give it a few seconds for it to realize what I did. That was weird. Alright, we're going to do, go into the startup menu. I'm going to do uh, load the command prompt only so we can get back into the edit utility. Edit, okay, let's change directory to Windows. Hard to type with one hand. Could be using a tripod, but I didn't feel like fooling with it. Alright, edit system.ini. Oops, I, <laughs> I misspelled that. I forgot an S. Ah, here we go. All right, here's the setting we changed earlier, shell equals progman.exe. So we'll um, just retrace our steps and put back in explorer.exe save, exit, reboot, give it a second, I love having a computer that has a floppy drive that sounds like Louis Armstrong during power on self test. Booting in Windows 95 again. And as you see, um, everything is is back to normal. So I don't know why that popped up again, but oh well. Yep, um, and Windows 95 is back with its usual Explorer shell. We got the Start menu back. Um, we got the right regular right click again um, that weird old style task manager is gone so basically we're back to a state of normalness so yeah just a quick little video showing off this cool little trick you can do to your 
old Windows 95 computer. Um, it's again like as you just saw it's easily um, it can be easily done and it's easily reversible. So for now this is Billy Core signing off on um, May the 17th of 2014. Goodbye everybody.